On this channel, we don't talk much about kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte, but we do talk a lot about digibyte. And you know that, right? So, if you're interested in digibyte and there are technical analysis from a daily perspective, stick around, because we are flying over the digibyte nest and also taking a look at the overall crypto market. One more thing, they say that every time a dinosaur roars, a new coin is born. Let's check that out. So is it true? Did you hear a little baby coin crying somewhere? Do let me know if you just saw a new coin born. In the meantime, I will let you know that you can subscribe to our channel and that it is completely free and that you could get some valuable information out of it. They also say that if you click the subscribe button, you help a newborn coin be a good man, help the kid. For more people to see this video, click a like, send us some love. If you want to donate, check out the description, the addresses are shown. And if you just want to watch the video, you do that, it's a free world. What's to say, what's to say? Well, for one thing, Ethereum broke its all-time highs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about price discovery in this coin. Second largest broke all-time highs in the last 24 hours. It moved to the upside 7.7%. We are currently standing above the $1,661. Will the surge to the upside continue? Probably. If you haven't checked out this video about Ethereum that we made now a few months ago, it could be valuable, who knows? And also, a big applause to the Polkadot, 21.9% to the upside. This coin is rushing it. It shouldn't be unnoticed that Polkadot replaced XRP and now is standing at the fourth place. So both Tether and Polkadot took the third place of the XRP. Will that be the case forever? We don't know that by now, because XRP is still laying in the bushes, still haven't made that big move that he's known for. And now, first, we will send some love to the UMA, because UMA surged 79.8% in one day. Extraordinary move. And secondly, we will finally head to the Digibyte chart and to give you that perspective that you're waiting for. Let's fly! We are on the daily chart of Digibyte versus US dollar. So every candle represents one day. The last time in December 2020, we checked Digibyte and we were standing somewhere in these regions. And since then, as you can see, a lot happened. We changed the picture with this huge move to the upside, right? If you need more detailed explanation, well, look at this. Here we have a high, then the lowest point, but then a higher high than this one. And of course, a lower point that is higher than this one. So, higher high, higher low. This was a downtrend. And we are now changing the picture and going into an uptrend. First thing first, as we stated in our previous video, this was our low. This was the final support. Now since we changed the trend, I think we will not see this low again. We bounced off it many times. It's enough. Now you might ask yourself why we stopped yesterday right here. And the answer should be obvious. It's a pretty big resistance. Look at this. Look how many days we're fighting it right here and then got rejected. Maybe this time we will crush it. 0.032 cents. But expect some pullbacks along the way. Even if we go all the way to the August and mark this zone like this, you can see that this zone is not a travel free zone. There are even here some resistances. And as we already said, this area is showing us pretty much everything you need to know. This won't be so easy to break, but when it does, those levels above those resistances will be easy to break. This is our biggest resistance 
right now. Keep an eye on this level, 0.032 dollars. Now let's focus on this area that we developed from our last video. What I think is happening is this a kind of bull flag formation, right? We have this pole right here and we have this bull flag. Just the other day, this month, the bull flag broke to the upside, which was expected because bull flags are a bullish setups. What to expect from this bull flag? Well, after this, resistance is broken and I'm pretty sure it will be. Expect a retest and the challenging of these levels of August highs. 0.036 cents, okay? One more thing is going in our favor and that is, as you can see, the volume, the biggest volume just the other day. This was the volume that was necessary to break this resistance of this bull flag, right? We made it and now the journey continues and that's it. So I must say that versus US dollar last time we did video versus Digibyte, we had a neutral, semi-neutral, even bearish picture. Now this is not the case, we are having a bullish picture because even if you didn't agree with all of this, we plot a channel like this to the upside. You can see what is happening. Digibyte is traveling to the upside in this upward sloping channel, right? Here and here. You can see clear support. And here, here, here. A clear resistance. But let's not overcomplicate things. I just want to show you a clear uptrend that is happening right now at Digibyte. So, general forecast bullish. But what is happening versus Bitcoin? That is for us to find out. Let's go to that chart. Yeah, Bitcoin. Still the dominator. Still the king. Digibyte is still looking bearish. As it did on December 2020 that we did the analysis. Still a downtrend. Here's the trend line, just to make it clear what we are talking about. Resistance all the way. And right now, these days, again, trying to break this huge resistance, still not possible. Bitcoin is still stronger. In time, this downtrend will end, but for now we have to be realistic. Hold your Bitcoin, Digibyte is going down in value against it. We can even draw this diamond stropping parallel channel with clear supports and the channel that is forming all the way from the August of last year 2020. So what is, as I said, right now something is happening. Right now Digibyte is fighting Bitcoin and trying to break this huge resistance. If it succeed we will see, but we must assume continuation to the downside. Because remember, trend is always your friend. But you know who could be your ally if you're holding Digibyte? Volume, ladies and gentlemen. Volume. Look at this. Let's remove it like this so it could be clearly visible. What do you see right here? You're seeing the biggest volume in a quite some time. And that could be a bullish sign for Digibyte. That could be that this volume is that price is pushing really hard to break this trend line. Of course, the battle is now on. For now, Bitcoin is leading, but this volume could be an indication that things are about to change. We will have to see. Assume continuation, but also keep an eye on this volume and interest of people in buying Digibyte with Bitcoin. One more thing before we leave. Remove all this and plot a 50 period simple moving average and you will get an answer why we are fighting it resisted us here here quite frankly is resisting us now we are below it this is a bearish indication and even even if we plot a hundred period moving average a 200 period moving average all of those are above our price when things change and we jump above those moving averages that is the time where we will be bullish against Bitcoin. For now, I must say, if 
effects are telling bearish. And what are you telling with your thumbs up? Do I see the likes? Well, I hope I do. And I hope you are agreeing with me. But feel free to disagree, it's a free world. Also, check out one of these videos, cause in those you might find your moment of truth and even some wisdom. And now, adios, see you at the next Digibyte video, bye.